Well, if you're born into a family of yachtsmen, or shipwrights, or scuttlers, or barnacle scrubbers, you may well develop their love of the sea, but one young sailor in the US is pursuing a dream bigger than his parents could have imagined. 16-year-old Zach Sunderland is on a mission to become the youngest person to circumnavigate the world by yacht. He set sail from Los Angeles in June and is now in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on his way to Australia. It's the adventure of a lifetime. 16-year-old Zach Sunderland is sailing around the globe, trying to break the record as the youngest person to do so alone. It's looking shape enough to be a pretty nice day. Hopefully the wind will pick up and I'll uh, have some good sun. His 36-foot vessel is rigged with the latest weather and safety equipment, but he faces a dangerous journey ahead. Amidst unpredictable seas, sleep deprivation and loneliness are a major concern. So it's uh, day 16 out here today. Set my course for Hawaii and um, <clears throat> just picked up some wind. So hopefully I have a pretty uh, productive night as far as miles goes. Get some miles under the belt over here. Still got about 800, I guess, to Hawaii. So just walking away here. Hopefully I'll uh, get there soon. Zach's voyage will take him across the Pacific to Australia, then on to South Africa, the top of South America, and back home to the United States. His seafaring parents are in full support. I feel like he's capable and he could do it, but I also feel like it's a long way to go. It's a very exciting time for me. It's. Uh... Uh, emotionally very fulfilling. And so too, it seems, is the rest of the world. This is good. And our bird in the sky is having a few problems tracking Zach down. We can't get through on the phone, but we'll keep trying. We think he's off the Marshall Islands, or maybe the Marquesas Islands, or can't possibly really Easter Island. He's or, out there, though. He's definitely out yeah. there somewhere. In the meantime, his parents, Marianne and Lawrence Sunderland in Los Angeles, join us. Good morning to you both. Now... G'day, how are you doing? I'm very well indeed, thanks. This is a, uh, you know, for, for parents, this is well, not only very exciting, I suppose, but also somewhat concerning. It's a potentially dangerous voyage. Did you have any reservations about letting Zach go? Uh, not really. Uh, we discussed it amongst ourselves in detail, and as my wife said, it's almost as if he's been um, pre or in preparation for this trip his whole life. We've actually lived aboard uh, large cruising yachts for seven years of Zach's life, and um, from the age of 13, he's been a night watch captain and yeah. um, proved himself in many difficult experiences out on the ocean. Um, and uh, we both feel that he's qualified, has the confidence and the discipline to be able to achieve something like this. It's a, it's a, courageous, um, it's a, it's a courageous attempt at this um, Wonderful. At, yeah. at this yeah. feat, and I think that he can do it. Excellent. We'll be glad to know. We've, we've, we've just tracked him down, we haven't found we, Nat? Him. We, have, we think we've found him. Zach Sunderland, you are live on air on Australian TV. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can. Oh, it's, the line sounds really clear. Tell us, where, where are you and um, what have you been doing? And your parents are listening, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm in the Marshall Islands, Maduro, right now. Uh, just finishing up getting my boat ready to leave. I'm about to leave here in like an hour. And um, yeah, I just came ashore and uh, getting some last things and about to head off here. Fantastic. How have you been um, occupying your time out at sea, Zach? It's a, a lonely experience, one would imagine. Yeah, yeah. I thought there'd be uh, there would be as much stuff as there is to do out there. You know, there's uh, always stuff to do, like tweaking sail, altering course. You know, plotting uh, course, vlogging. You know, there's uh, a lot of stuff to keep occupied out there. You know, working through a few books and stuff too. Yeah, right. Marianne and Lawrence, you you can hear Zach um, down the line. What do you want? Do you want to say anything to him? Do you want to ask him anything? Don't forget to take your anti-malarials. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was mom. Okay, what about dad? <laughs> uh, just, just don't go complacent. Keep safe out there, and uh, 
Yeah, keep safe out there. Don't grow complacent. Mm. And I hope you took the opportunity to visit I... the laundromat in the Marshall Islands, by the way, Zach. Now, listen, um, have you uh, encountered any uh, treacherous conditions so far? Uh, not so treacherous. I mean, there's a few squalls on the way over here. Uh, quite a few, actually. I had uh, 20 and 24 hours uh, right before I got in. Okay, and, good. Uh, you know, you have to be awake all the time. They pack quite a lot of wind and rain and stuff. Fantastic. So you're feeling positive? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this next leg is going to be pretty hard, but um, I think the boat's ready to go, and uh, just ready to get it out of the way. Okay. Excellent. Well, listen, everyone is behind you, Zach. Thank you very much for joining us. Remember, even if you're very hungry, don't shoot an albatross. But great to have you with us this morning. <laughs> uh, Marianne and Lawrence, great to have you with us as well. Good luck for the rest of the voyage. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. What, an, what an achievement to get out there at Fantastic. 16. It's yeah. amazing to yeah. think of that. So. It's hard enough to get out of bed sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good on him.